good morning my dear brothers and sister and friends around the world today i am coming to you in the name of the lord our savior lord jesus christ and i was listening from east valley pentecostal church through our pastor pastor rodney nelson at our home because we are in the houses around the world but that's okay how the god is keeping us we love our lord with all our heart with all our soul with all our strength do not worry if we are in the house or we are out of the house we have to follow the will of lord if this is the will of lord if this is the instruction from our government all around the world we must follow so today i'm going to share with you from the old testament first samuel 17 lesson verse 45 then david said to the philistine you come to me with the sword with the spear and with the javelin but i come to you in the name of the lord of host the god of the armies of israel whom you have defiled once again first samuel lesson 17 verse 45 then david said to the philistine you come to me with the sword with the spear and with the javelin but i come to you in the name of the lord of host the god of armies of israel whom you have defiled the god gives this beautiful sermon may the god bless all of them who is going to hear this holy video and my brothers and sisters and friends whenever i record this video i always pray to the lord lord put those word from you in my mouth so that i may speak only those word which are from your side there is none of the word is from my side so this is the holy words because david was the youngest from his clan his father name was jesse so he was shepherd and when there is a problem between israel and philistine then philistine was like 9 foot 9 inch he was a tall guy with a big body and david was a small and but he has a faith in the lord that i may have victory on this tall big stout big body with a sword spear and javelin in his hand but david came in the name of the lord with the five stones only stones so my dear brothers and sisters and friends any war which is going on between the country between the world around the world then there is one way we can win the war only in the name of the lord this is also war going on between the satan and their armies who want to stop us from following our savior lord jesus christ who is a creator of heaven and earth who is who has created all things in his own time satan want to stop us 
through this plague, through this disease, whatever this coronavirus is. But can I stop to record this video? And are you going to not listening this video or are you not going to listen the church's sermons online? They can put us into the house, but they cannot stop our freedom which has been given from the Almighty God of Savior Lord Jesus Christ. He gave us strength. Love your Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. When you love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, then no matter what circumstances you're passing through, no matter what you thinking, but the Lord thinking is always different from the human being thinking. If Satan try to stop and throw this virus, throw this bad disease and throw this plague into the world. What is thinking? We are going to stop to proclaim the Lord, Lord's name? No. No, we cannot. The more Satan try to persecute us, the more we become more stronger. We have to resist the devil. We have to resist the devil. Like David. Philistine, 9 foot 9 inch. His coat was way like 167 pound. He came to fight with a small lad. Shepherd. Youngest of his family. His three brothers was already in the army. But God chose him. And he said to the Philistine, You are coming to me with a sword, spear and javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord. And he is going to give me the victory. So what happened? David threw one sling. And that sling goes into his forehead. And then he died. Same thing, my dear brothers and sisters and friends. This coronavirus cannot do anything to those who love the Lord with all their heart, with all their soul, with all their strength. Who love the neighbor like their own image. In this kind of situation, my dear brothers and sisters, if Satan comes with this disease name as coronavirus then you showed your strength in the name of the Lord the creator of heaven and earth strengthen your family call them show this video and strengthen them don't worry we are in the house we are quarantine ourselves it is good that government gave us this order we have to stay in the houses we have to follow the government but you pray to the Lord God Almighty Lord this Satan come in the shape of coronavirus but we comes to defeat this coronavirus in the name of the Lord because you gave us the strength to fight for this kind of circumstances so follow your government the law around the world whatever the government says to you follow that and pray hear this video it will give you strength it will take your fear away from you it will give you strength so that you may be strong enough to fight this coronavirus this Satan has to leave this Satan has to leave Mark the Lord's word. The Lord is going to protect all of you. This is my prayer to entire world. Please follow the instruction of the government. 
take care of yourself listen this video so that you will get strength lord will give you strength and protect you from this kind of disease so you if satan come in the shape of coronavirus you go to fight with him in the name of the lord who is creator of heaven and earth god bless you thank you